Hello and welcome back to Lorefent Gaming Plays Divinity Original Sin 2 Definitive Edition. I'm your host Lorefent. In today's Divinity Original Sin 2 Definitive Edition video, we're go ahead and resume the Hammerfall quest by doing all the trials, all the puzzles, and plus a battle with certain puppets. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more Divinity Original Sin 2 videos like this. And do not forget to hit that notification bell so be updated and more. Last video we got the scroll and the amulet. We're gonna go ahead and use it. Let's move on forward. Now we got one way to go, which is forward. So what I'm gonna do is go in this church area or cathedral. There's an NPC I definitely want to speak with. He's gonna talk about the trials of blood. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and learn about that. And here we go on this information. Please. Greetings. Have you come to join us in the endless prayer? Or do you wish to walk the path of blood? Lucian's day wouldn't be the same without the faithful gathering to petition for his return. The more voices that join our cry, the better. Ah, the path of blood is a, a more advanced form of pilgrimage. I would not advise it unless you believe yourself to be free from sin. And trust me, none are free from sin. The path of blood ends in death for those who attempt it. Consider yourself warned. The signs suggest that if we pray hard enough, Lucian will return to save us. Every year, we gather to offer our prayers in his name. We stand united, hoping that he will favor us once more. It was Lord Ahu's creation. He is the crypt's keeper, of course and oversaw the construction himself. He couldn't have done it without the help of Sanders, though. Quite a talent for engineering, that one. Spends most of his time tinkering with toys nowadays. Such a pity. But that's the price you pay for genius, I suppose. Oh, look at that. This fool's like rushing in. The door closes. L let's see what's uh, happening. Let me uh, try to do this. Okay. Oh, wow. The pilgrim is toast. Yeah, I guess she failed the trial of blood. So, the trial of blood, you answer the statue. If you do pure things 100%, like no stealing, murder, etc., you'll be allowed in. If not, you die instantly. I tested it out. Instead, we're doing the uh, backdoor method. That's simply look for a panel, and then we insert the amulet, read the scroll, and we're into the next trial. So let's go ahead and do this right now. There's a curious looking panel discreetly nestled upon the wall. Upon it is a lone button. There's a slot in the center of the button. It looks like something should be placed in it. The amulet fits the slot perfectly. The mechanisms around it begin to glow with source. The button slowly sinks into the wall, as if pushed by an invisible hand. The source fades from the amulet, consumed by the inner mechanisms of the button. Gears turn behind the ancient walls, almost like they're acknowledging the words you spoke. A nearby hatch in the floor unseals itself. Now that I have got the back door open up, so if you can't get past the statue way, Go ahead and use the amulet where I did use it at. Read the scroll and you get this door. We're going to go down. Look at that everyone. This is the backdoor trophy slash achievement. Since I am playing the Steam version. Well, I got the Steam achievement for it. Plus some experience points. Now, I'm going to say this right now. Coming up is the final waypoint. Let me explain. This is the last waypoint of the game. We solve this next puzzle. We're going forward. In other words, we're going towards the end of the game. This is it right here everyone. So... If you miss anything, miss any companion quests, do them now before resuming this puzzle. Because once you complete it and move on ahead, that's it. You're on uh, lock into end game. So what I'm going to do is just give some uh, look around real quick, just to see if there's any chests, bosses, and uh, boxes or anything just to loot up. Uh, let's see if there's anything here. Nothing there at the center point. Nothing there on that side. And let's check in there. Survey says. Absolutely empty. Lucian's body is not there. That is a fake. So this puzzle does involve the altar. Before we do that, I'm just show everybody how to interact with it. 
And uh, here we go on that, and after that, I'll tell everybody how to solve this one. The blessed altar seems to want to be touched. So, I'm going to say this right now. Definitely make a save before starting this puzzle. I made a save. Now, the first part is we're going to definitely going to need blood. So, cast your blood rain, bleed on the grate. After that, bless the blood around the grate, and you should unlock the third part of the puzzle. So, there you go. Let's go ahead and interact with the altar. A blessed stone altar. The cool stone seems to beg to be touched. In the space beyond the altar, the pipework shifts. So let me uh, go ahead and explain uh, what's going on. I did this uh, some uh, test run saves and I found the uh, best possible solution to actually solve this uh, puzzle. Object here is to uh, get the three different types of uh, blood to get from one side to the other. There's the, I think it's like the blessed one, the blue one, and the red one. We'll uh, call it that. So you gotta get a pathway towards that. So just simply follow what I'm doing. And you should do it. It's a little bit of trial and error. However, if you do this right, you'll not only uh, solve this, you'll uh, go on definitely to advance the uh, next part of the trial. I'm going to say out of the three trials, this one is uh, makes you think the most. The first one was the uh, blood one. You just had to do some questing for that. Yeah, and then this one's just a puzzle one. The third one's combat. So yeah, those are that's the uh, gist of this uh, Hammerfall uh, quest. And looks like I got that one set up. If you uh, need to, just uh, when you move the pieces, emulate a path that is going. So this way you act like you're uh, moving the uh, blood. Right now we're just setting the uh, path. So let's see if this is happens. Alright, that does uh, look uh, good. I think I almost have it. A few more turns here and there. That is fine. Okay, yeah, I'm just simulating the blood path right now. Okay, looks like I'm going to have to adjust that. That's fine. We'll move that one over and I think I almost have it. We'll move this and I am almost done. So what I'm going to do is once I am finished with the finalizing this, I'm going to go ahead and speak with the altar. The altar seems to respond. Beyond it, something creaks as if the pipework was moving. The sound comes from beyond the altar, but also echoes and gurgles behind. Now that I set everything on the correct path by picking the second option, what's going to happen is the uh, blood's going to start making a path. So this, I did the right solution, so it's going to start flowing. Uh, I did a test run of this. That's why I made a save before starting the puzzle. If you mess up, do not panic at all. You won't get penalized. It's one of those type of puzzles. It's more like trial and error. And I think we almost got this one. Let's see here. This one's going slow. We got one. Yep, yeah, we got the blessed one. We got the blood one. And we got the blue stuff. I think that's uh, source or something like that. And we are done. Now we should have access. There you go, everyone. We got access. And we're going to go down. Yep, that's right. Down there. So once we uh, enter this latch, that's it. This is the point of no return. Do everything now. I mean everything. Quest, buy, sell, restock. Otherwise, from here on out, yeah, you're uh, going forward towards the end of the game. So I'm going to do uh, that since I'm already there. So let me uh, go ahead and set things up. So let me explain about this uh, next uh, trial. Uh, in this next trial, we're going to be doing a battle. Not a normal battle against some puppets. Not like in the last video. Nope. These puppets, only way to feed them is uh, strip their magic or physical uh, damage, or when they're down, source vampirism. They do respawn quickly, so you need to be quick about it. You kill them real quick, or uh, better yet, spell the words out power. So, for example, uh, when you do the P for a person, you gotta do that. And then O, for example, Opal, you get the uh, point. I'll uh, remind everybody once again. So before we uh, do that. Um, I did was I made a save, so now let's interact with this door. Venture no farther, only death lies beyond. Blood need not be spilled, 
bones need not be broken. Preserve thyself and flee. To cross this threshold is to plunge into thy grave. Do not decide in haste. Very well. Embrace thy fate. Now, about this area too, it is full of traps. One of them is Death Fog, so be careful on that. Don't linger too long in the battle. Try to take out the Source Puppets, ASAP, or spell the words out, Power. So I'm going to go ahead and start this encounter. I'll return when it's done and over with. Careful now, that's a trap. They just keep coming. Look around, there's gotta be a way to make them stop. Translocation. 
another one. How many more could there be? And there you go, we have officially almost defeated all of them, and I kept my guys separate, so what I did was I kept my main there with Sir Laura, so I have Loach there, we should definitely uh, finish everything off, and I kept my common cool, and while I was at it, I was starting to spell the words power, so I'm going to put timestamps in the video on spelling that actually, the actual trial is actually uh, flipped in five switches, spell power, and complete it, that's it. Combat, which is a bonus thing, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my character over right now and start teleporting like uh, crazy to spell the word power. Let's see where I'm at. Okay, that is not it. I'm trying to look for the right letters. Yeah, this might take a little time to uh, do so. Let me see here. If you spell the wrong one, they uh, put a trap there, so uh, don't panic unless it's the death fog one. Now, unless you're undead, of course, then yeah, no worries. None at all. So let me see. I think I'm trying to look for the uh, correct one. Okay, where is it at? That's E, and that's not it. And let's see where it's at. That's another letter. Okay. Come on, I gotta get the right one. I'm trying to spell the correct word. And it should be somewhere here. Yeah, I think I got that one. Yeah, and if you do get damaged, just bedroll it or uh, catch your uh, skills. That'll heal your armor and uh, magic. You should do uh, fine. That should do it. Ooh, ooh, that does smart. And we got the right switch. I'll uh, definitely put timestamps again for my uh, handiwork. Healing everybody up. Well, actually, Loesch. Might as well get her to do the uh, dirty work. I mean, she'll be able to survive most of this stuff anyways. I mean, a little bit weak on the physical armor, but on the magic, oh, yeah, it is great. So, let me get over on the other side. 
And yeah, I won't be able to uh, worry anymore. Okay, that's not bad. If she fell down, I'll just heal up really uh, quick. Let me see here. Okay. Get up and we'll uh, <clears throat> definitely heal up. And there you go. We're all set and look like we're all good to uh, go. We'll look for the last uh, few switches. We'll hit this one. And okay, I hit the wrong one. Big old oops on my end. <laughs> righteous and there you go we spelt the word power so we got all five uh words right so i'm gonna go ahead and teleport everybody on over to sibyl that's the perfect spot oh don't worry if fans uh cow form will uh, go away so i'm gonna reunite the uh, lovebirds together then uh, teleport the lovebirds together to sibyl there you go and let's do it right now and sir laura would definitely teleport with us i've been trying to keep the little rodent alive since day one since i got it Actually, when it was the chapter. And we're going to just uh, move uh, everybody else over, reunite them. Okay, that's Team B. And now let's uh, get A and B together. Let's see here. Okay, she is green. And we're going to teleport exactly to uh, green. So uh, let me uh, go ahead and uh, give a nice recap of today's video. First of all, we did the Trial of Blood. We cheated. Yeah, we cheated to get in. After that, we did the next trial involving the uh, blood. And the uh, different type of what we call blessed stuff. We got through that puzzle. After uh, that, we uh, we're beyond the uh, point of no return. Defeated some puppets, and spelt the words power out. In the next last and final Divinity Original Sin 2 Definitive Edition walkthrough video, we're gonna do the final encounter of the game and go ahead and beat it. Well, everyone, this is it for my Divinity Original Sin 2 Definitive Edition Arcs Hammerfall Story Quest complete video. This is Lurfit signing off. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day or night. Please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more Divinity Original Sin 2 content like this. If you do like what you see, check out the upper right hand corner videos for my suggestion on the lower right hand corner for a video suggestion from YouTube. Thank you for watching everyone and have a wonderful day or night.